Hi. One of the most uh, common questions that I have come across from my students is, Sir, how to face an interview? You know, if you're attending an interview, what are some of the things that we should prepare for making our performance in the interview effective and perfect? So when talking about this, let me first share with you I had the good fortune of attending some of the best interviews. One example is Service Selection Board SSB interview. And that interview taught me so much about me as a person. I could analyze myself, introspect, which helped me a lot in whatever I did after that. So let us take uh, an interview. It's basically, as the word itself says, interview. It's a kind of, uh, you know, insight. You know, you get a glimpse of what you are. An interview is just a mirror turned towards you. Okay, it helps you see what you are. So there is a very famous, um, you know, acronym, SORT analysis, which is used by many companies and organizations for their effective performance. S-W-O-T, SORT. S for strength, W for weakness, O for opportunities, T for threats. An interview is a kind of sort analysis that an individual does. So there are two aspects that you should be very careful about when you are attending an interview. Uh, olden days, it was said like, you know, hard skills and soft skills, etc. But I would like to put it in the latest uh, technology uh, terms and, you know, language. I would say hardware and software. Every interview would test hardware and software. Hardware, what I mean is your qualifications, degrees and uh, whatever you can present in a particular hard format, your appearance, etc. That is very important. I'm not telling you that it is less important. It is very important because that's the first thing which makes you eligible to appear in an interview. Okay, your necessary qualifications and documents, etc. So let me first talk about that. The other one is software, as I said, that is your skills, your attitude, your talent, your decision-making power, so many things. We'll come to that. So when we come to hardware, remember, you always document whatever work you do. Suppose you are studying at school, okay, maybe in class 10th. You may have done lots of activities in the school. You may have been part of so many projects, innovative practices. You must have attended lots of workshops. But most children do not keep a document of all this. I strongly suggest that you keep a record of all these things. These days, it's better you keep a soft copy of your activities and achievements. Keep it with you. You can even have a copy of it emailed to your own email ID so that it remains there. Wherever you go, you can access these files. And once you are appearing for an interview, you will be presenting your documents, your uh, bio data, the old word used. Nowadays, we use resume and uh, curriculum vitae or CV, etc. When you prepare a very good uh, resume, you should be extremely careful that you are presenting your personal details to the necessary extent, your uh, educational qualifications, your professional qualifications, your experience, etc., etc., and reference that you give in the resume. Minimum two referees who can vouch for your resume. Remember, your bio data, resume or CV is your own reflection. You make a very good food, but you present it in a dirty plate. 
how will it look so make sure that your resume is original unique and it reflects your personality work really hard on it and you should have an answer to everything that you did in academics or in any particular job that you were part of one of the things some of the interviewers can ask you for example suppose you are the candidate and i am interviewing you i would surely ask for example in your uh, bio data or resume if there is a gap of a few years for example after class 12th for 2 years you did not do any further studies you must have continued your studies after 2 years so i would surely ask why this gap and if you tell me just like that i didn't do anything that would be a very bad irresponsible reply it shows that you are not ready to uh take the responsibility of what you are doing in life and that uh, sends a very bad message so never give an answer about which you are not convinced so whatever you write in your resume or bio data or cv you should have a convincing logical answer that would justify your decisions what you did or what you didn't do whatever it is so this concludes the hardware aspect of an interview of course your dress and your appearance how you you know uh, use your body language for an interview this is all a part of it coming to the software of interview i was telling you earlier soft skills what we say so i would call it in the modern lingo as software this is your whole approach to the interview what you are please do not try to copy anyone your genuine performance and presence is what makes you a winner what makes you what you are you don't have to be somebody else but you try to be your best so these days most of the interviews you would find uh, they would be very informal in their questions okay because they want to know the actual person your documents have very clearly said that you are eligible for this job you have all the qualifications but what about you as a person so we usually have this concept that uh, interview means you know a uh, very formal dressing style and very serious questions there is no informal talk or even jokes etc no then you are mistaken most of the interviews are taking place these days online even on the phone so wherever it is they try to study you as a person i'm coming to an example suppose you come to the interview and i'm the interview i'm in the interview board and i'm asking you a question i would be trying to make you very comfortable i will try to ask you questions which are not at all related to books and your subjects i would be asking you hey how are you how's the weather today you know uh, what are your interests why do you think uh, this job is very important for you you know the way i put it will be very informal or i would even ask you do you have any suggestions for us this is like you know testing you if i give you some amount of freedom to what extent you would go it is to test that in one of the interviews i have attended it's a very interesting experience the interviewer after some time did not even look at my face you know he was uh, taking his cup from here he was having coffee okay keep speaking and all he was telling me like this and in between he was scratching his head he was yawning in between but he was observing me very carefully you know why he was doing this to test whether you are becoming nervous when the other person is not giving you any attention psychological test is what happens 
in the software part of every interview so this is an area you should always do lot of preparation study yourself your strengths your weakness and how you can minimize your weakness and in army and defense services you must have come across an amazing tagline a tagline which i really love because it speaks volumes about the software of our personality it's a question and it is do you have it in you the question is do you have it in you what is that it nobody knows it is a collection of so many qualities attributes attitudes everything put together so they are testing you in all these areas in service selection board like interviews psychology test plays a vital and crucial role in the selection first be natural accept yourself make a list of things you feel you are good at and areas which you do not know anything about be very clear and cool about it if you don't know something say i don't know politely put it okay and never try to bluff in an interview never try to project an image which you actually don't carry this can backfire a student of mine who was attending a very prestigious interview of a management institute a higher institution so she went there with lots of definitions of management it's a very good example uh, one of the members in the interview board asked her what is management so she gave a very clear bookish definition management is this this like this she explained it the interview board asked her no can you make it simple so she got stuck for a moment because she never carried her own concept of management she carried what she got from books and most of the interview board would test you on this are you a very theoretical bookish person or do you have something of your own so she said yes sir management is all about managing people now you think the difficulty is over no the interview board came out with another challenge for her they asked oh management is all about managing people very good we are five people in this interview board can you manage us so she got nervous they were trying to be a bit humorous okay so this is the way they will check whether you are comfortable in the whole process of the selection so be yourself be down to earth unassuming also another important tip for you study the interview board as soon as you face them whether online or offline wherever it is try to understand the stature of the people who are sitting there and don't overplay in an interview it will be better if you underplay never project things unless otherwise they ask for those things or presentations or projects whatever you have done i was asked in an interview you know for an interview uh, for which i have to join in a far off place they asked me what will you take to that place when you go and teach there what are your preparations so i told them i can decide it only after i reach that school so they asked me uh, can you explain it they were very happy about the answer okay because it's a spontaneous answer very natural answer i said see i believe that every classroom is different 
every school is different so if i am working in a city here and i am going to be posted 500 600 kilometers far off in another school i know the students will be different there so how can i predict them i can only decide my strategy after i study my students really well after i interact with them so they really appreciated this answer they said it's a genuine reply usually they said a candidate would take out things from the bag and say sir i will carry these ppts with me i will carry these presentations with me all this i will do they already know that you have done all this they are just trying to test do you have something original to say so before i conclude quickly let me tell you hardware and software hardware your qualifications your documents certificates everything that you can present in the hard format plus your looks and appearance software your attitude your study of yourself your strength your weakness how you need to approach the interview how you need to present how you should be natural never be a bluff master and understand the interview board if they are informal try to be informal with them be very open and frank honesty and frank approach nobody can ignore or resist and that will be your success mantra so after watching this video i want every one of you to find out your own answer to this question do you have it in you all the best